It's interesting how when it comes to helping people, some mm -hmm. see only walls while others see bridges. Yeah, and tonight's only in Indiana. Our own Kevin Rader and photographer Josh Blankenship introduced us to a Crawfordsville man who spent his entire life building bridges. Here's more tonight on fire trucks. <laughs> Most school kids are always waiting for the bell to sound. These kids, however, Hello. are waiting for an alarm. It gives them a chance to gear up to fight a fire. It's all part of the firefighter cadet program at Southmont High School. Room. It's comprised of students of Western Boone, North Montgomery, South Montgomery, and Crawfordsville. It's an awesome opportunity for us. An opportunity made possible by this man. 77-year-old Claude Johnson, with the help of his Rotary Club in Crawfordsville, he has donated 19 old destined for the scrap heap fire trucks for a second life at Saving Lives. Young America, Darlington, Crawfordsville Fire, you know, uh, two Crawfordsville Fire, Jackson gave us a fire truck. There's Attica, the very first fire truck came from, from there. It's taking something that's going to be in a landfill or scrapped away from our landfills and, and putting it to good use. I had a, a, a truck from Newcastle and a firefighter who, who's a, who was a Newcastle firefighter, and he bought the truck for 2500 bucks and gave it to me. And that truck went to Mexico, and so did 18 others, delivered to communities that didn't even have fire departments. The number of people alive because of what dad started and, and uh, the in the houses that aren't burned down and the people that aren't burned or at least have a chance to survive yeah it, it's it's a big deal with the amount of trucks and where they went and the towns they went to and the areas they cover that we're protecting about 800,000 people down there now that's a that's a real chunk and we're proud of that uh, to think that uh, you know one of these days we're all going to be gone and maybe we made a difference in this world somehow. Especially when your doctor says you have just six months to a year to live. When you see a uh, kind of an end in sight, it gives you a different outlook on things. He's suffering from stage five kidney disease. I just wear out. <laughs> You're in here every day working on that. Pretty much, yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm in here every so day. What are the things you could be doing with your six months or a year? Well, sure, but you know what? I can't think of anything I could do that would be any more satisfying than this. What else do you want at the end of your life but to know that what you did mattered, you know? He, he cared down to the bone. This is what a friend of mine says, we're going to build a statue to you down here. And I said, no, we've got enough money to build a statue. We're going to get some more fire trucks. <laughs> so that is why he's sitting here watching these kids work on this fire truck because he wants to see what the future will look like without him. In Crawfordsville, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, now in his news. A fabulous story. And by the way, Claude says Rotary has already set up a chain of succession to make sure that that program will continue after he has passed on. And that is quite a legacy. It is. Me. It really is. Thank you.